Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, this is the second video on the Laravel Blade Template. In the previous video, we learned what is the Blade Template, how we can use it, expression of it, and how we can use the for loop, for each loop, else, if else conditions and all. In this video, we will see how we can use a view inside the another view, or you can see that the nested view also, and how we can use the PHP view in the JS with the help of Blade Template. Then uh, CSRF token with the help of blade template and some other functions with uh, like the CSRF token which is uh, provided by the blade template and really helpful in the Laravel project how we can make the header and footer and at the last I will ask you a interview question also which is a uh, very important for the uh, you can say that the interview right now I'm just going to show the previous video code because I'm just going to continue the last video both video are relate interrelated if you did not watch our previous video link is given in the description box right so we created the three files one is uh, users controller here you can see that and we just pass some data to the view and this is our view file right and this is the web.php file we include the route for our user controller right so we don't need this file and uh, Okay, we need uh, this file for a moment. That's why I'm not going to close it. So, first question is how we can include the one view inside the another. So, I'm going to make a view here. So, let's put a name like uh, inner dot blade dot php. So, this is the inner uh, view. You can say that. So, let's put here h1 h3 tag and uh, just write here users inner view right uh, inner block you can say and how we can use it here so you just need to use here at the rate include function and here put the just name of your view inner right you don't need to put here blade.php and uh, now let's try to refresh it you can see that we are able to get the inner page on a users view so that's the one thing now the second thing is uh, that how we can put the php in the js so that is pretty possible that you can just use the php code in the js also with the quotes and single quotes and all but this is a little bit complex right so how we can normally use so as you know we are just passing the data from uh, controller to the view so let's uh, just take a for each loop right and uh, see what we are getting here then we will just print this data in a uh, console also in JS so you can just use here users because we are passing the users array here right and uh, now let's put here like h3 just use simply double curly braces and just put here dollar item and here is the output you can see that we got the for user here so now uh, how we can just get these user inside the JS also so just simply put here script tag close it like this and uh, just take a war here variable in the Java script let's say its name is data and you just need to use here dollar users right this is the same variable that we are using here and just wrap it inside a iterate json function right like this so now let's make it console console dot one use here data and what we are getting here in the console now you can see that we got the array here so even if we can use the any position also let's first position on the zero theory is and it should be anil now right and we are getting here anil so this is also working fine you can use the just like this so yes uh, one more thing uh, which is uh, csrf right so this is very useful when we are just uh, sending the request to the 
Laravel because uh, they actually this is generating the uh, token here you can just find it let's just make it text here you can find this token and uh, Laravel actually identify with this token is that the user is authenticated or not to prevent the cross site request right cross site means uh, let's say somebody just sending the data from another site so we can just identify that this is uh, our website or not we, who is actually requesting right okay so next thing how we can make the header and footer so i am just going to remove it if you want right okay just just leave them here we don't need to remove this right so i am just going to make a header component so just simply put here uh, header dot blade dot php and simply put here a uh, div or header right header tag is most suitable for it right and let's take h1 tag and just put here header view you can just say it like this right and now let's include it here so just use at the rate include and here we can put like a header so let's refresh it now you can see that we got the header and we don't need to use here the columns so now let's make it a little bit stylish not too much but yes we can make it right so let's add like a header and we can for a moment we can add a style here style use like this and now just use here dot header as in class and just put here background color can be sky blue and color can be um, white right and height can be like uh, 100 pixel and width can be like 100% uh, right and now you will see that again okay, so there is some issue let me check what's wrong with it mm -hmm. oh yeah I actually used here colon by mystically right so now you can see that this is our header right and uh, that's okay even if you just want to use here text align center then it should be work on a header tag let me check yep this is working fine so with a similar way you can also create a footer uh, with little bit style you can add it at here right and even you can put it here with the position absolute if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care uh, yeah actually I forget to ask the interview question so uh, here is my interview question is where what is the best place to add the js libraries or the css library like bootstrap jquery where we can add in our laravel project right even here you can see that with the blade template we can use the javascript like this here and on the single page we can use the style also so what is the your advice that where we have to put the common library for uh, js and the css so thanks for watching this video again and bye bye take care